Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another video i hope you're having a wonderful day so in this video i'm going to share with you guys five companies that are still undervalued we have been doing this for the last few weeks we're going to continue doing this inshallah and the whole purpose of it is just for you to inshallah find a bit more information about these companies and then of course you go away if you're interested and do your research and so on these five companies are all undervalued at the moment according to morningstar valuation i've always used morningstar website and the reason is because i genuinely feel like they have a bit of a margin of safety in comparison to other websites especially where they use wall street analysts wall street analysts it can be very much biased these guys are using what we call um basically Basically, they've actually used the actual valuation models to come up with valuations for this company. So that's why I like it. And of course, I always add another 5, 10%, 15%, depending on how risky that investment is. So I'm going to share that with you guys. And the reason I've been doing this is just to kind of give you a list, um, you know, just to an idea of what to invest in because right now everything seems very very expensive i don't know about you guys but just this week as you can see everything more or less everything is green apart from a couple of companies like into it is reported recently so just a couple of those companies that are down this week but the majority of the companies are up a lot and look at tesla for example 10 percent and so on netflix is about nine percent oracle is about four percent crowdstrike about over ten percent so yeah, and when we look at the year to date, everything is up. Um, if we just look at the year to date performance of the stock market, everything seems to be expensive right now. And the funny thing is, if we look at the PE for these companies, you can see a lot of reds because the normal average PE for this thing is looking for is basically 15 and below is kind of green. The rest up 20 and above is basically red. And as you can see, there's a lot of reds. There's a lot of companies that seem overvalued because the overall markets used to trade, of course, about 15 PEs and so on. But right now, nothing is on 15 PE apart from just a couple of companies that are really not that great if you like. But Berkshire Hathaway is probably the only one that is worth investing that is actually below 15, which is interesting. So yeah, there's a lot going on. And then the fear and greed is, of course, right now we're here. We've been hovering around here. And I think sooner or later, by the time we get to the end of December, we'll probably be extreme greed um, if we continue this basically way right now. And if we look at the S&P 500, as you can see, we are up just uh, if we look at the year to date, um, we are up about 26%. So 26% is, uh, is a lot. Um, the Dow Jones is up about 17% to the Nasdaq is about 29% almost and then the FTSE 100 about 7% so nothing is down for the year today which is basically good as in long-term investors this is good for us but everything seems expensive and this is the reason why we need to now look around and see if there's undervalued stocks that we could potentially add to our portfolios and stay away from the hype please don't do fall for this madness that's going around right now i mean just think about your long-term goals that's that will help you genuinely if you have a bit of money lying around and you're looking for something to invest in you know just find high quality companies high quality etfs and just buy them and hold them for a long run i promise you you're not gonna fail okay but the thing is buying you things like right now everyone is chasing and everything to do with cryptocurrency because apparently bitcoin is heading about you know hitting about 100 or plus 100,000 and um, finally after all you know i think it was 2020 everyone was saying it will hit 100,000 by the end of that year but right now four years later basically we hit that number but it doesn't matter the most important thing for you guys is you can still invest in and bitcoin if that's what you're interested in but of course to make sure that you are you know buying these high quality companies that will hopefully compound in the long long run inshallah what i'm going to do now is i'm going to share with you that with those five companies and as you can see here that we're just looking for the same information that we always look for and the first company that we're going to look at today is the thermo fisher scientific this is one of the um healthcare companies 197 billion market cap it has a wide economic more current price of 513 dollars per share dividend yield is 0 0.3 right now the payout ratio is very very low which is just seven percent the five-year growth rate 15 percent which is really good you want companies um that increase in that dividend because the dividend yield is very very low but you want to make sure that the five-year growth rate is about 10 percent or more if you can find that's really really good the dividend straight we're looking at about six years the annual payout was five one dollar and 
156 dividend safety of a plus for the five-year growth rate and the for the revenue and, EP, um, of, and eps both about 11 and 18 which is really good profit margin return equity return on investor capital is decent it's not great but free cash flow right now we're looking at about 7.7 .7. free cash flow yield of four percent total return in the last 10 years 15 percent revenue growth of five percent and eps growth of nine percent the 18 percent discounted um, right now according to morningstar 630 dollars per share is where the price is at now looking at seeking alpha as you can see here the stock is actually down about three percent um a year to date so it hasn't actually participated in the long the basically what is happening in the general stock markets and when you look at the wall street expectations okay strong buys about 17 buys eight and hold is six and their current price is 653 dollars per share which means it's about 27 percent upside from where we are right now earnings expectations for moving for this company we've seen some of it already so end of the year the, this is the end of this year so next year they're expecting about that eight percent that i've already shown you and in terms of eps about 11 percent about 13 percent about another 13 percent the following year and then revenue is about that five percent seven percent every single year moving forward now the next company we're looking at is align technology this is the company that produces the invisalign um basically product is that you that costs quite a lot of money a friend of mine actually t was telling me recently she's paid over a thousand pounds just to this to get those invisalines um 17 billion market cap right now it has a narrow economic mode price right now 225 dollars per share they don't pay any dividends yet but the, uh, the five-year growth rate for the revenue side of things 12 percent eps about four percent profit margin 11 percent return on equity 11 percent and return invest capital 10 percent now 300 so it's a very small company so 372 million free cash flow right now that free cash flow yield of two percent total return in the last 10 years we're looking at about 15 percent growth estimate next year for revenue side of things is seven percent and eps is ten percent twenty three percent discount right now two hundred and ninety six dollars per share is where they think the price should be now looking at the company overall um as you can see a year to date is actually down about 17 almost 18 percent and it has a forward pe of 24 now in t if we look at the wall street expectations for this company six strong buys three buys six holes and one sell and we have 15 percent upside from where we are right now 261 dollars per share is where they think the price should be now earnings expectations moving forward we're looking at about this year we're looking about just to finish at about 8.5 the next year almost 10 percent then 14 percent 16 percent 18 percent so nice double digit growth expectation moving forward when it comes to eps and when it comes to the revenue side of it about that basically single day high single digits for the next couple of years until 2028 where they're expecting basically there's only one analyst so i wouldn't worry too much about that probably focus on these four here okay because there's 14 analysts to looking at this one so about nine percent seven percent so of thing so that's the second company we're looking at today the third company we're looking at is Dana corporation another healthcare company right now 169 billion market cap wide economic mode 235 dollars per share 0.4 percent when it comes to dividend yield the when it comes to payout ratio looking at 14 percent the five-year growth rate of 12 percent dividend streak of 10 years annually we get one dollar and an eight cents dividend safety of b plus and um, five-year growth rate of six percent the five-year eps for the re uh, revenue uh, for eps is uh, five five percent the profit margin about 16 percent return on equity about seven percent return on investor capital about five percent five point zero um one billion market um of free cash flow right now uh, free cash flow yield of three percent 14 percent when it comes to total return in the last 10 years growth estimate next day they're expecting about seven percent and then eps is about 12 percent 18 percent discount right now 285 dollars per share now looking at the seeking alpha as you can see it's up about two percent a year to date so it hasn't really done much so kind of forward paid about 31 which seems very expensive if we look at what expectations from wall street 16 percent, 16 of them are saying it's a strong buy five buys five holds and no sales whatsoever current basically they're expecting the target price to be 290 dollars per share that's about 23 percent upside from where we are right now if you click earnings expectations what you'll see here is double digit expectations when it comes to revenue with an eps side of things and then high single digits when it comes to eps as well so really solid company but is down quite a lot um so it'll be interesting to see how it goes the next one is ao smith another company that we spoke about a while ago um this company has a market cap of around 10 billion um 
10 billion dollars has a wide economic month 73 dollars per share and dividend 1.8 the payout ratio 33 percent which is not that bad at all so they have a room to increase if they need to the five-year growth rate we're looking at about eight percent which is good 31 years of increase in that dividend so again this is one of the dividend aristocrats out there annually that you will get one dollar and 36 dividend safety b five-year growth rate five percent five-year eps and nine percent profit margin we're looking about 14% return on equity 29% return on investor capital of 27% free cash flow right now 485 million free cash flow yield of 5% total return the last 10 years 12% revenue growth of 3% next year EPS we're expecting 8% and then basically about 11% discounted right now $82 per share is where they think the price should be right now it's about 73 now, interestingly, is down 10%, about 11% of a year for the year. But Quant is actually saying it is a sell. I've not seen that in for a while. And Wall Street is actually saying it is a hold right now. But according to Morningstar, it's actually undervalued. So strong buy. So this is basically what's happening is um, Wall Street analysts have kind of put the company to one side and said, yeah, we don't want to touch it right now. But it seems undervalued based on the current financial metrics that the company has. Strong buy for three is three, buy zero, hold nine, sell one, and strong sell one. And as you can see here, $82 per share is where they think the price should be. Right now, that's about 12% upside from where we are. If we look at the NX expectations for this company, this year, of course, it was a negative. Next year, about 8%, then about 8% after that, and then so on, and then EPS. And the revenue side of things, about 3 to 5%. This is the type of business that grows about three to five percent generally anyway so i'm not sure what was going on here it's definitely not a high growth company and the final one is the one that ha i have been talking about the only one i own in this port in this on this list and that is hershey hershey is going through a tough time right now because of the prices of cocoa has gone up a lot does that mean it's going to stay up there? Maybe, maybe, maybe next year, but then as eventually it must have, it's going to come down or something has to change. But for now, I'm really bullish on this company. You know, um, I've had it in the portfolio for quite some time. I'm going to continue dollar cost averaging. This is the time. If you read any books, if you talk, basically listen to any for basically, um, you know, one of some of the big boys that invest in the stock market, whether, whether it is, you know, the Peter Lynch or Warren Buffett or whoever it is, they always say buy these type of companies when Wall Street's actually completely putting on to one side and ignoring it because it's a solid business. The business has nothing is wrong with the business right now, but the margins are not great. And the reason the margins are not great is because they spend a lot of money to buy those places called cocoa to make those chocolate right so is that going to continue it will jo to cocoa price come down at some point I, i'm sure it will at some point something is going to change just can't stay up there, up there right um so that's why i'm bullish on this company and it's a very solid business as you can see we've got 35 billion market cap it has a wide economic more 174 dollars per share right now dividend yield about three percent over three percent which is really good the payout ratio is 61 percent this is where, exactly where i want it to be um basically anything higher than that is a bit risky and lower than that is beautiful the five-year growth rate with 13 percent the dividend streak of 15 years of increase in that um that that dividend five dollars and 48 is what you will get b plus five years when it comes to the revenue side of it about seven percent eps seven percent profit much return equity return invest capital really really good 1.6 billion dollars of free cash flow right now the five free cash flow yield of five percent which is absolutely huge total return the last 10 years we're looking at about eight percent growth estimate next year for revenue side of it, it's about three percent but eps they're expecting to decline about nine percent anything can happen anything can change if the you know the price of things just start changing for cocoa for example this company will go up again and then it will start making more profit and of course that the eps and everything else will start growing with it morning is saying it's about 17 percent discounted right now 200 and basically 10 dollars per share is where they think the price should be finally we're looking at seeking alpha if you look at a year to date it's about six percent down about forward period about 19 um right now if we look at wall street expectations for this company we've got two strong buys two buys 18 holes one sell and three strong sells and as you can see, $183 per share is the way they think the price should be. 5% upside from where we are. If we look at the NX expectations, I've already shown you is about 9% decline next year, 10% following year, 4%, 6%, 7%. So again, nothing huge, nothing to worry about in terms of EPS side of things. And in terms of revenue side of it, this is what is being growing about basically 3 to 7, 8% every single year. 
so i'm gonna hold on to this one and i'm gonna keep adding to inshallah in the long run so that's my plan but you're gonna have to do your own research if you want to pause the video have a look at the sharia compliance side of things absolutely nothing to worry about in terms of that side of things anyway if you enjoyed this type of content please don't join us at the patreon account where you get access to a lot of these things um uh, like i've always said to you guys it, it you know we really appreciate if you can do that anyway i'm gonna stop the video here have a wonderful day assalamu alaikum